Hello everybody. So it's been really great to be able to be back at Sunday services. If I haven't seen you there yet, I'm missing you. Can't wait to see you. Um, if you've not been able to attend yet, I hope you've been able to see the videos on our website and our live streaming on Sunday morning. And um, let's take a minute and pray before we get started. Heavenly Father, I just thank you for this time that we can come and we can uh, get into your word, Father. I pray that you would be with us as we um, think about ourselves and, and um, try to uh, better ourselves and, and find out your will in our life, Father, and use our talents to best serve you. And Father, I pray that you would be with us during this lesson today. And Father, help us to realize that you can use us no matter what we've done in the past and um, that you're always there for us and you provide for us and you care for us. Father, I pray that you would be with those around us that are in need, that um, may have job losses or loss of loved ones during this time, Father. I pray that you would bring healing to our nation and unite us, Father. There are so many um, negative things happening in this world, Father, and we know that you're uh, promised to return to us, and, and I thank you, Father, for that promise that you never leave us or never forsake us, that you're always with us, and I thank you for that, Father. I pray that you would help us to grow in knowledge and understanding of you as we um, study these words today, Father. In Christ's name I pray. Amen. So, today we're going to talk, last week we talked about um, our talents and different ways that God could use us. I pray that you've taken some time this week to seek God and some direction um, in using your God-given talents, the things that are come natural to you. We've discussed like self-awareness and um, the use of our natural abilities and how God wants to use them. Ephesians 2.10 says, For we are His workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works. This week we're talking about Christian growth and that we mess up sometimes and what we should do when that happens. In Philippians 1.6, the Apostle Paul tells us um, he is confident that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. We all make mistakes and sometimes we feel that God can't use us or erase those mistakes that we've made. You might even be tempted to say, I'll never measure up and there's no way that I can give back to Christ. You may even wonder how, um, wonder how you can be doing Christian service when you just made a mistake yesterday. There are uh, maybe times that we question if we're really saved. I hope not, but there may be times that we do that in our life. We're going to talk about our mistakes, what they really mean, why God loves us no matter what, and why it's still okay to serve Him no matter what you did yesterday, last week, or last month, no matter what or who saw it, no matter how you're feeling about it, it's still okay to serve God. Romans 3.23 says, All have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Every one of us has made mistakes. So did the disciples. So did the prophets in the Old Testament. So do church leaders. So do pastors. Don't ever say to yourself that God couldn't want me because he does want you. He always wants you. He created you for himself. Don't ever say that God can't use me because he can and he will use you. Sometimes the consequences of our mistakes can be embarrassing. But the consequences of Christ's death on the cross are that there is therefore no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. And that's in Romans 8.1. Stay committed to Christ even after you fall down, even after you make a mistake. There are a lot of people out there that would love to shout at us that we're a hypocrite after we do something wrong. And the definition of a hypocrite isn't sinning. It's sinning and feeling no remorse for that sin. One of the biggest inhibitors of our faith is shame. We can get to feeling bad about things we've done and feel separated from God. 
And that's one of the times when he can do the most with us and for us. Jesus died so that we can be in relationship with God, not separated from him. Psalms 103.12 says, As far as the east is from the west, so far he has removed our transgressions from him. And Hebrews 8.12 tells us, For I will be merciful to, the, to their unrighteousness, and their sins and their lawless deeds I will remember no more. There is no sin, no mistake, no failures that are too great for the love and forgiveness of Christ. When we sin and when we make mistakes, we must ask for forgiveness and have remorse for what we've done. We must repent and be reconciled to Christ. Romans 5, 6 through 11 is something that I want to read to you today. And it's um, Christ in our place. For when we were... For when we were still without strength, in due time Christ died for the ungodly. For scarcely for a righteous man will one die. Yet perhaps for a good man someone would even dare to die. But God demonstrates his love toward us, in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Much more then, having now been justified by his blood, we have been saved from the wrath through him. For if, for if when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God through the death of his Son, much more, having been reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. And not only that, but we also rejoice in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received the reconciliation. That's a great passage. Receive the forgiveness that God has given you, given to us through the sacrifice of his son, Jesus Christ. Don't be afraid to ask him for it. He gives it freely. Rejoice in God for his mercy and his grace. So this week, what I want you to do is I want you to write down a prayer. Talk to, about, talk to God about things that you feel guilty about or ashamed about. Things that you would like to change in your life. Thank God for taking away your sins and remembering it no more. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this quick uh, devotional today, Father. I pray that you would be with us and help us to um, look ever to you, Father, in the things that we do and the things that we say. Thank you, Father, for all that you do for us, the many blessings that you give us, Father. And I pray that we would um, open our hearts to you and be reconciled to you. And I just thank you, Father. If there's anyone here, anyone watching that, that would like to ask for forgiveness, Father, I pray that you would... Um, hear their prayers and hear their heart, Father, and as they ask for forgiveness, um, I pray that you would forgive those sins and um, join them with you and, and be reconciled with them, Father. In Christ's name I pray. Amen. Have a great day. Sorry it was so quick today. Lots going on. Um, love you and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.